Okay, so welcome to our review podcast. So this is for people who have been absent and haven't been able to necessarily get caught up in school because a lot of people have been getting sick lately, or if you just need some good review on Punnett squares. So I'm going to run through a Punnett square problem with you guys today in which you can actually see how a Punnett square works, how to set it up, and actually how to figure out your genotypic and phenotypic ratios. So the first thing you have to do is read the problem. Uh, it's not a thing you can skip over and figure out. So the biggest thing you want to do is decode the actual problem. So let's start out. It says in guinea pigs, black hair is dominant over white hair. So the very first thing you want to do is start decoding what we have here. So black hair is dominant, all right, over white hair, all right? So now you've got that set out of the way. First thing you're going to figure out is what letters will you be using in the Punnett square. We're going to be using a B because it's the first letter of the dominant trait. So we're using capital and lowercase b's. Now, the next piece of information or clue you have is this. It says a purebred dominant female. Purebred means same, dominant means capital letters. So therefore, I'm going to have a purebred dominant female, which means two capital letters. The next piece of information we're given is that she mates with a Male who is heterozygous. Hetero literally means different, and therefore one of each. So you're going to have one capital and one lowercase. And then it says, show a Punnett square in which all the possible genotypes and phenotypes could be displayed. So run your square. If you forget how to, you move this first letter over and the second letter down. Letter comes all the way over. This letter comes down. And we continue the same process for the bottom. This one comes all the way down. This one goes all the way over. This letter comes all the way down. So what do we have? So go back to your rules. If you have at least one capital letter or two, you are going to get the dominant trait. In this case, all four boxes are going to give us a dominant trait. So I go to write out my genotypes. This is actually pretty simple because there's only two different genotypes. You can have a capital B, capital B, which is a purebred dominant or homozygous dominant. And you have a two out of four chance of getting that, or 50%. Or you have a capital B, lowercase b, you have a two out of four chance, again, of getting that. Now, the phenotypes, that's the genotypes, the phenotypes you can get from this. Capital, 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 they're all going to give us the same phenotype, which is the dominant phenotype. So we are going to have black fur, and that is going to be a four out of four shot of getting black fur. Hopefully that clears up any questions that you guys have. If you have any other questions, please see me after school or during lunch, okay? Thank you very much.